Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see about case statement. So, how you can use a case statement and how we can write it. So, it is unconditional branching statement, which means that uh, there is no condition actually. So, we can simply say that um, menu based or menu driven. Um, commands if you say so you have uh, a number of options if you want to select one option so you can select that option then it will execute that uh, particular option command so let's see that so example say the case statement how it works so here what we do here it is that we write that case value values in okay so example say the first option may be something then end with the semicolon and the second option is uh, something and end with semicolon and example this third version is something so what happens here it is that whatever the option you select one or two or three so any one of the version if you select it then that particular thing what you given that command or something you wanted to do then it do the action that so uh, so we are ending with this star because the exit of that one and you have to uh, exit the case statement in a reverse the reverse case so this is the how the case statement is going to be work so what we are going to do is a case statement value we are going to assign some values over here example say that one two three four five something like that and select the one of the value any one of the value then it execute that particular command whatever the value is assigned to this some command then it's going to execute that so that is the case statement okay let's go and um, create some our case statement template let's say template and say case statement and i'm going to edit that statement we i and case statement let's say example for case statement so which is an unconditional statement so there is no condition over here so based on the option it's going to execute let's example say i wanted to do enter something like uh, echo enter a number any number you wanted to enter something like this so enter any value over here okay so what i am going to do over here is that this value i am i am going to store into the value a and say echo again i am asking the user to enter something other value enter b number okay and um, this value will be stored over uh, read b value okay and say here example uh, i am making some menu over here so echo the first one will be a sum of values so i am going to do sum of the values using the first number echo the second number would be second number would be say subtraction okay and uh, that value would be something like uh, multi multi multiplied by okay and uh, fourth option i am going to do something like uh, division and uh, the fifth option would be modulo modular okay so division modulo division and uh, so here i am saying user to enter any one of the value okay uh, enter your choice from above menu okay so it's going to enter any one of the value from above okay i'm say the the value would be in the separate line so read the choice so what are the choice he enter read the choice and i am assigning that choice to the 
case statement let's say the the case statement in if the value is one okay then it should execute the uh, the value set and do some do some right echo and i'm saying over here so sum of dollar a and dollar b equal to okay what are the value it is so we are using maybe uh, exp arrow here okay let's example say within the quotation i am doing exp r dollar a plus dollar b so this is the values is going to execute over here and provide over the addition values over here or else we can say something like this uh, a plus b equal to this value okay and we are going to end this with semicolons and the second one and i am saying echo okay sub action the same one and i am going to do over here it is that uh, using the expr command expr and say dollar a so subtraction will be minus right dollar b the values over here and ending with the sum that values maybe we can uh, no required over here so that's why i'm closing over here this is not required anyway this is the command we are passing to the sub shell so that's why that's not required echo i am uh, again i am doing over here uh, multiplication okay so i am again using the exp arrow here say dollar a so the star would be escaped with the escape character okay and b and close this case and fourth value would be echo i say okay division and uh, that is equal to the expr values over here say expr and dollar a divided by dollar p so the division value will be over here and the fifth one echo i am writing over here it is that modulo division division and that would be equal to value over here say expr and write that value dollar a percentile and dollar b close that case and the last one would be invalid option in the sense we have given only five on the menu top of the menu so let's say star if uh, if e provide other than any of these values it should say um, please are invalid option provided and you have to close this statement you have to write the case in reverse and save this script and go and execute this case statement same enter some numbers example say 3 and 4 so it is saying that asking you want to do something so enter some value example say i wanted to do some of the values one so and enter the sum of the values or if i wanted to do something over here which one you wanted to do maybe multiplied by three so like that so whatever the option you wanted to enter so which is like it will provide you the clear menu statement over here then it will it is going to be it is going to be executed the option whatever the option you entered over here example say five so it is a modulo division in the sense the remainder value of it so like this 
you can do the option based on the options you wanted to do something like this you can use the case statement okay if you have multiple options example say you want to do multiple stuff at the same time then you can do something like this okay so this is the very very useful stuff for if you want to write multiple commands on the single or multiple menu based uh, 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 scripts or menu based things if you wanted to do then you can use this case statement okay that's about it thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel stay tuned please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask